we've got the new Fuego Fresh. All right, so it's been a while since I've made a new Dr. Squatch review. The last Squatch video I made was a few months ago where I ranked all 59 soap bars in their catalog and then another video where I ranked all 14 of their deodorants. If you haven't seen those yet, I'll leave a link on the outro so you can check them out. Which brings us to today's review for Fuego Fresh, which will actually be Dr. Squatch's 60th bar in their catalog. So props for that. Now I've seen a lot of people in the Dr. Squatch soap groups talking about how terrible they think this bar will be and they think it'll just basically be a repackaged Hulk bar. And I have the Hulk bar here, so I'll compare them, but I'm really hoping they're going to be different. So a lot of people have really low expectations for this bar, and I understand why, considering the way Squatch has been recycling so many scents over the last couple years, but I actually think this could turn out to be one of Squatch's more unique bars. It's advertised as saying that it's going to have a strong jalapeno pepper scent and I haven't really seen a bar of soap with a strong pepper scent before. Now some are saying this Hulk bar smells like jalapeno peppers to them but I don't get that. This smells more like cheap grassy laundry detergent to me. <laughs> now I think some people are afraid that it's going to feel <laughs> like peppers in the shower but I really don't think that Squatch is going to go that route. But I guess I'll find out in a few minutes. I don't expect this bar to smell great. I expect it to have a pretty subtle scent. But what I'm hoping for is that it's going to feel really good on the skin and perform really well in the shower. So as usual, I'm going to open the package and give it the sniff test and give you my honest first impression. And then I'm going to pause the video and test it out and let you know how well it performs in the shower. Got it open. There we go. I got three of these. There we go. See what it looks like here. Pretty good packaging, I think. And look what else I got. <laughs> A new bar of fresh fall. <laughs> Remember on my last rankings video where I had this Fresh Falls bar that was old? <laughs> yeah, I started making that video and I didn't realize I had no backup bars of Fresh Falls. So I had to use this to display. <laughs> and as you can see, it's like two or three years old and it's all faded. It's brown. It's like a beige color. So all the blue dye faded out. So if you've never seen Fresh Falls, this is what it actually looks like. Let me go ahead and open it up real quick. There we go. That's what Fresh Falls looks like. And this is one of the best bars in their catalog. If you haven't tried Fresh Falls, you should definitely give it a go. So now I can take this old Fresh Falls bar and toss it. <laughs> I, I, unless you want me to give a giveaway and send this to the winner. Let us know in the comments if you want an old three-year-old bar of Fresh Falls. Just pay $25 for shipping and handling. Just write old soap in the comments to enter the giveaway. All right, so now that I got my new Fresh Falls bar, I'll have a fresh one for the next rankings video. But enough about Fresh Falls. We want to know about the new Fuego Fresh. So without further ado, let me go ahead and give it the sniff test. Okay, pretty good scent. Let's go ahead and get it open, see what it looks like. It does not smell cheap and generic. It feels, it feels good too. It feels quality. This is a pretty good scent. Now that's my honest first impression. You know sometimes I change my mind throughout the review. So we'll see if I'm still liking it at the end of the review. Because sometimes what will happen is I'll, I'll sniff it and I won't like it. And then a few minutes later it'll grow on me and I'll like it. Then sometimes I'll like it when I first sniff it. And then a few minutes later, I'll get to where I actually don't like it. 
And I think that has a lot to do with the fragrance. When a bar has strong fragrance, I may like it at first, but after being around it for a few minutes, it gets to where it turns my stomach and I can't stand being around it. And we'll see if that's the case for Fuego Fresh or not. Yeah, the more I'm smelling it, the more I'm starting to pick up on a stronger fragrance. So I'm not liking it quite as much as when I first smelled it. Because now that it's opened up, the fragrance is a little stronger. But it's not too strong, at least not yet. So I'm liking it okay still. But if you've watched a lot of my reviews, you know I can change my mind throughout a review quick. Hopefully I'll still like this one by the end, but the real test will be after I use it in the shower. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, but before I do, let me go ahead and post the ingredients. Alright, so we have red pepper extract, creates a warming sensation and brightens the skin. Lime scent, creates a clean citrusy scent. Yeah, I can slightly smell a lime scent. It's kind of like a lime combined with a jalapeno pepper scent. And then cornmeal exfoliant provides an exfoliating scrub that leaves the skin fresh, clean, and smooth. So I'll be able to tell you how good the exfoliant is after I use it in the shower. Okay, and the rest of the ingredients are saponified oils of palm, coconut, olive, and then naturally derived fragrance. Shea butter, red pepper extract, Jimmy red cornmeal, sand, chromium green oxide, kaolin clay, and sea salt. Yeah, this is starting to get a little more fragrant than I like, so I'm afraid I may not like this as much after I use it in the shower. But I'm going to go ahead and test it out. Be right back. All right, I am back. I just got this dried off. And, okay, first of all, it says it's medium grit, but I hardly felt any grit at all. The more I used it, I did feel a little bit more grit, but as you can see, you hardly see any exfoliant in there at all. This one feels more like a light grit bar to me than a medium grit, so I was kind of expecting for it to be a bit more gritty. But, this is what's really odd this bar reminds me of another bar and I was trying to pinpoint which bar does this one smell like to me okay I know this is going to sound weird yes there is a note of the Hulk bar in here it doesn't smell just like the Hulk bar but there is a note in here that smells similar to a note in the Hulk bar. Go ahead and open this up. This is the Hulk bar. This is the Fuego Fresh. They smell different. I like Fuego Fresh. It doesn't smell cheap. This one smells really cheap to me. The only thing I like about this bar is the color. Look at that nice shade of green. This is one of the nicer looking bars in the Dr. Squatch catalog. Unfortunately, we don't really care what the bar looks like. We're more concerned with how it smells and how it performs in the shower. So yeah, Fuego Fresh may have a slight similar scent as the Hulk bar, but really it doesn't smell much like it. And there's another bar I'm trying to pinpoint that smells a lot more like this one. And I'm starting to think it may be Brick of the Brave. Yeah, this smells similar. I don't know. I'm thinking that Fuego Fresh smells a lot more like Brick of the Brave than the Hulk Bar. Go ahead and open this one up. Now, this one smells a lot like Stark Cleanse. This one is like Stark Cleanse with a little more grit. Now, I didn't like the Harry Potter collection, but Brick of the Brave was the one that I thought was the best out of that bundle. But I'm still not a fan of this one, but it's okay. And I don't know if my mind is playing tricks on me or something, but this Fuego Fresh reminds me of the Brick of the Brave scent for some reason. I mean, it doesn't smell identical to it or anything. It doesn't smell as similar as, say, the Hulk bar compared to Legendary Lather, but 
there's definitely a similarity there. It has like a similar scent as Brick of the Brave combined with jalapeno pepper. But I would say Fuego Fresh has a more subtle scent. Yeah, I would say Fuego Fresh has a similar scent as Brick of the Brave, except it's combined with jalapeno pepper with an undertone of lime. And has a more subtle scent than Brick of the Brave. I would say Brick of the Brave is more fragrant. I don't know. I just was not expecting for Fuego Fresh to smell <laughs> anything like Brick of the Brave. And maybe I'll change my mind later, but that's how I feel after using it for the first time. So overall, what do I think of Fuego Fresh? It has a decent scent. It is a little more fragrant than I like. It's not like overwhelming. It's not like too powerful, but I would like it toned down a little bit. And when I used it in the shower, it was underwhelming to me. But I don't think this is a bad bar. I think it's way better than the Harry Potter collection or either one of those Jurassic Park bars. I like the concept of the pepper bar, but it really doesn't smell very peppery to me and it definitely doesn't feel <laughs> peppery in the shower. You're not going to have to worry, worry about burning your skin or anything like that. I didn't feel any burning sensation at all. So if you're on the fence about this bar and maybe a little worried about possibly bur burning your skin in the shower, don't worry. You'll be fine. It's not going to burn you at all. Like I said, I was underwhelmed by its performance in the shower. Honestly, I was expecting more. But it's way better than the Harry Potter bars, in my opinion. And if you're wondering where this one would fall in my Dr. Squatch rankings, this one would go in my OK slash decent tier group. So would I recommend you try Fuego Fresh? It just depends. If you've tried all the other Dr. Squatch bars, then yes, go ahead and give it a try and see how you like it for yourself. But if there's a lot of bars that you haven't tried in the Dr. Squatch catalog, I would advise you to try some other ones before Fuego Fresh. All right, so now I've got Brick and a Brave in a Hulk bar. Yep, these two together smell very similar as Fuego Fresh, but not identical. I would say Fuego Fresh smells like the Hulk bar combined with Brick of the Brave, combined with jalapeno peppers, and a note of lime. So if that sounds good to you, then give it a go. If not, then you should probably just try something else. All right, that's about it for this review. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, and God bless.